So here, here's a little food for thought. Good morning, by the way. So here's a little food for thought. For those who are interested, a deep dive into miscarriages is quite interesting. For those who are really interested. For those who are interested in a little bit of reading, it takes a little bit of digging, got to find some verifiable sites. A little bit of digging can actually go a long way. Of course, they always paint the picture that everything is safe, don't worry. When you do a little digging, you see otherwise. But that's not the topic for discussion. What I did want to talk about, this was an interesting article for those who are interested in reading. This is as of the UC San Diego Health EDU. And talks about how it went undetected in places like Wuhan. And they say it might be as early as October. In, an, in a tidbit down here, it says based on this works, so the researchers estimate that the median number of persons that were infected was less than one until November. This is according to their research. November 2019. It says 13 days later, it says it was four and just nine days from December 1st. This is the first hospitalization in Wuhan with a coordination later identified as C19 occurred in mid December. Right? So China didn't uh, find their what they refer to as, I guess, their patient zero until they had their first admission in the beginning of the beginning of December. Now, this study, this is as of study suggests possible change in the timeline. This is as of December 2020. Right. And it says down here, it says the finding of the study indicates that the possible that the viruses may have been present in California, Oregon, and Washington as early as December 13th to the 16th, and in connection with Iowa, Massachusetts, Michigan, Rhode Island, Wisconsin as early as December 30th. So according to their timeline, it says here that it was already here. Not only was it already here, it was spreading through multiple states, at the very least, by mid to late December. It was already here spreading rampantly. Now, something else to take into consideration when, and I said this before, you know, people talk about, you know, you even got Trump. Like I said, everything is about, everything is about Fauci. Everything is about Fauci. Nobody asks any questions about who told Fauci to lie. Everything is, this is what he said. These are the emails. And of course you believe that all these emails got released because someone filed a petition. And I'm like, really? Come on. Someone files a petition. They're like, sure, here are these uh, highly incriminating documents. Go ahead and release them to the media. And you believe that they're real. But anyways. Now, this was an article that I, again, talking about, and I, I had read this way back I had to read this way back that there were blood banks that already had the virus in it right it says among the 7,000 there's 106 had samples of antibodies oops and, oh you have antibodies you you mean someone came through the blood bank donated blood and you have antibodies this is as of december 2020 and it goes on to say it says in which 39 were collected from california oregon and washington between the 13th and the 16th another 67 were collected from connecticut iowa rhode island and wisconsin between the 30th and january which means that prior to Prior to coming into the blood bank, these people were infected, passed through the virus, and already had antibodies and donated within the timeline of one month. So like I said, when you start putting the pieces of a puzzle together, it becomes very obvious what went on. Now, again, 
the whole narrative back then was oh antibodies this is why you need to take the jab because we don't even know if you're going to have antibodies and it's like this information has been out for quite some time all you have to do is just do a test test the people who 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 said who had it and if they had antibodies test the people who were actually clinically sick but when you have the asymptomatic spread and everything via PCRs and some people are testing positive but never had it and then that information comes out a year later and then they test those individuals who tested false positive and then they didn't have because they never had it and so the whole narrative was oh no antibodies and so that's why you need a vaccine but this information was out as early as one month into the pandemic the antibodies already existed and were found in the blood banks by the Red Cross. Which means that these individuals had already had the virus. I mean, do you imagine that it was like it happened all that quickly? That these individuals came in contact with someone, felt sick, passed through, and already had antibodies? Like I said, when you, when you stop paying attention to the narrative... The story really begins to unfold.